Hello students, in this video we'll discuss algebraic operations on vectors. Let's recall a vector is an equivalent collection of arrows. And so what we can do is we can say if, for example, if a, B is an arrow in the collection V for our vector, then so is 0, 0, 0. I can start an arrow at the origin, 0, 0, 0. And I can map it to x b minus x a, y b minus y a, and z b minus z a. And so what we oftentimes think of is we oftentimes think of vectors as being identified with this one particular arrow. So we will oftentimes use the idea that the vector v is, we'll put is in parentheses, is this standard arrow. Is the standard arrow, which we'll denote over here. And of course, we can see that this is indeed equivalent, because if we have the point x, a, y, a, z, a, to the point x, b, y, b, z, b, then we have to check that this, the difference of the x's, the difference in the y's, and the difference in the z's are the same. Well, the difference in the x's is x, b minus x, a, whereas the difference in the x's here is just going to be x, b minus x, a minus 0. That doesn't change anything. The difference in the y's is y, b minus y, a. It is over here. And z, b minus z, a is over here. So what we'll see is sometimes we'll see this notation, right? So we'll typically write we can write the vector v is a, as a point, where the vector v is a point x, y, z, with the understanding that it comes from the arrow 0, 0, 0 to x, y, z. With this in mind, I can look at two vectors. So if I look at the vector, we can define two operations. Scalar multiplication of a vector. If we let lambda be a real number, we can define lambda times a vector v as just lambda x, lambda y, lambda z, where the starting point is still the origin. And so algebraically not difficult to do. We can define addition of vectors. If we let v and w, let v be x, y, z, and w is x tilde, y tilde, z tilde, another vector, then define v plus w as x plus x tilde, y plus y tilde, z plus z tilde. So let's do some examples of these things numerically. If, for example, I had the vector v, which was negative 1, 2, and 4, and w is the vector 7, 1, 6, 
bearing in mind that if I say a vector is a point, it really means that the vector comes from the arrow that starts at the origin and goes to the given point, and all arrows which are equivalent to it as well. So even though we're writing vectors, it looks like as a point in three-dimensional space, this is a notation to denote the fact that the vector starts comes from an arrow that starts at the origin and goes to that point and allows any flexibility, any translation of that will also be part of the vector. So what we can do then is we can say, for example, that 3 times v would be negative 3, 6, and 12. As easy as just multiplying the entries of the vector. The vector v plus w, well, let's add the vectors together. I'll have a negative 1 plus 7, that'll be a 6. I'll have a 2 plus 1, that's a 3. And then a 4 plus 6, that will be a 10. And we could also do the vector subtraction. I could do v minus w, for example. I would have subtract v from w. Let's see what we get. We get a negative 1 minus 7. That would be a negative 8. I would get a 2 minus 1. That's going to be a 1. And then I get a 4 minus 6. That's going to be a negative 2. So that's the difference of vectors. That's the sum of vectors. And that's the scaling of vectors. In further videos, we'll see the geometry that underlies the idea of vector addition and scalar multiplication. Thank you very much.